another glorious day in Arizona. You can see the mountains are lit up back there. This morning I'm going to go to a mission, a Jesuit mission in Tumacacri. It was established in 1691, so we're going to do a bit of a hike uh, to get there. We're going to park a couple miles away and hike in, so maybe some opportunity for birding and whatever. We're going to check out the mission. Uh, there's a museum there. I'll show you guys around. Sounds really cool to this guy, right? Jesuit uh, mission, 1691. I'm in. <laughs> Where's my metal detector? Anyway, that's what we're going to do this morning, and no idea what we're doing later today, but we'll find something. See, what's happened here is two things. I stopped to take a picture, so the wife and kids left me behind. The second thing is, I took the instructions on how to get here, and the father-in-law said, you drive down this road, and 400 meters you park at the trailhead. They told me, no, we had to park back there at the highway. So now, because they're wrong, they're scooting ahead, because they don't want to hear, I told you so. That's a pretty cool rustic fence. I think I could, uh, given enough time, build a fence like that. Might not stand for too long, but... Trees are full of elderberries down here. Should be good for birds down this road and down the trail that we're gonna hike. Hey, I told you so. How far to the mission? Point six. Half a mile, so not nearly far enough. It's a pretty cool trail in here, but uh, the lack of birds, kind of surprising. Do birds not eat elderberries? Let me know. Look at the huge trees. Arizona's not supposed to have trees like that. But down in some of these washes, they do. How come there's no birds? Nothing. We had to open a gate to get in here. So there is cattle in here with us. Watch where you step. Don't walk and talk to the camera, Gary. I swear I just saw a bird out of the corner of my eye. Maybe not. <laughs> Wishful thinking. And I almost backtracked right into that pile of cow crap. <laughs> Birders paradise. Mumble, grumble, mumble. This mission better be good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stop here on the trail and switch cameras. There's no birds, so I've got the 7300. We'll switch around because we're coming up on uh, the mission here shortly. So I'm hoping there's some really old buildings we can get photos of and things like that. I don't know till we get there. So being on this trip has also reminded me uh, that my gear is more than good enough. I'm, I'm completely happy with the two cameras I've got, the A6600, the A7R3, and I've decided I think the next camera I'm going to buy is going to have computational photography built in. And what that means is software, like the phones, right? I've been forgetting my phone at the rental house. and. Some of the wide stuff, I would actually get better results, HDR built right into the phone, so I don't have to do all this post-processing, and it's kind of making me realize that is the future. I don't want to drop $4,000 on an A7 IV that can't do any of that. I want a cell phone in a mirrorless body package. That's what this guy wants for traveling. I'm carrying this huge pack sack full of gear with me everywhere I go. I literally dehydrated myself on the uh, Madeira Canyon walk the other day just so much gear 
I didn't enjoy it. So I think what I would much rather enjoy is carrying, you know, a phone and one camera that can do everything, right? Right, right now I've got two cameras and a camcorder and a bunch of lenses. Now, if somebody could also put in the 3D technology, like when you back your car up, you can see all the way around you. We need a camera with that technology so that I get in some of the pictures. All the dads out there will know what I'm talking about, right? You go on vacation, we take all the photos, we get home, we're not in any of the photos. It's like we were never there. <laughs> I don't think we're too far from the Arizona Trail, which was the pioneer route, I guess. You know, at home we'd call it the Voyager route. I don't know what they call it here. The Arizona Trail is like the early 1700s route where they blazed across this country. And I think that this trail that we're on right now actually is either part of that or hooks onto it. I'm not sure. But it was mentioned back there at the trailhead, Arizona Trail. It had its own placard. I know, I really, sh I really should look at these things better. <laughs> I got the gist of it. It's here somewhere. Here's the other trick, dads. You carry the money and the wallet. They'll have to wait for me when they get to the mission. Otherwise, they'd just leave me behind. I was right, ha! So that's the trail we just came down. And here's a little side trail. And there is a placard here, which I'll flip around and show you guys. I'm pretty sure online they called it the Arizona Trail. That says Anza Trail. Close enough. Oh, that sign says Anza Trail as well. Maybe I'm losing it. Hey, I see the mission.
So the original graves that were here were actually vandalized by uh, treasure hunters. And this one here, the infant one, there actually is an infant in there. That was the last grave, 1916. The locals were still burying people here uh, at the mission. Cool history. So really cool, this plaque here is talking about the local native tribe, the Yaqui. Okay, these were the local guys that were here when the Spanish came through. And it's funny that we just did a video on legends, myths and legends, because look what I found in the gift shop. Legends of the Yaqui. And I'm going to buy this. And I just looked in the introductory section of all the stories, and there's a story on coyote in here. Is that not amazing? Here we are across North America, you know, other side, and they have legends of coyote and all kinds of other legends. So I'm going to buy this. And uh, we're going to maybe take a walk here in the desert. Maybe we'll do another one of those videos with Legends of the Yaqui. I thought it was pretty cool. So there it is. That was the Tumacari mission. And I feel that I was adequately steeped in history. So pretty cool. Come check it out. We will get into those myths and legends of the local tribes here in a future video. I think that's awesome that I found that. Apparently the Cardinals eat these elderberries. Wouldn't sit still long enough for me to get a picture and I had the camcorder out so I did get a little bit of video. I know most people down here are like, oh, it's a Cardinal, but we don't have them at home, right? <laughs> well, hello. What's your name? Oh, you're soft. Look what you started, Hannah. They're all coming now. They think you got treats. We only have love, guys. We only have love. It's a unicorn! You are special. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, look at this one. Oh! Are we taking them home? Oh, there's his head. Look. All right, we're going. <laughs> oh, what did we cause? A breakout. Great escapes.